Little Clara Koyo is surrounded by a world full of sound, yet she hears none of it. She's clinically deaf and goes about her day mumbling her speech. This is all because her poor single mother and aunt cannot raise 6,500 CDs to buy her hearing aids. It's been almost three years since her birth and the plight continues. Join News' PSC and I are Safo was in Tantra Hill, Accra, to meet the little girl and her worried mother. A loving mom says hello. Hello. But the young one cannot respond. Not because she doesn't want to. She just does not hear anything. That's a hello. <laughs> Clara Koyo is like every other two-year-old in the country, but her mood is reduced to a few rather inaudible words. <laughs> Vaida Anagbla is Clara's mother. She makes signs and hits me when she's thirsty. She usually uses signs to inform me of what she likes. She's yet to speak. Little Clara has not begun to learn proper language. She cannot. She was born with a hearing impairment. Her mother, Vaida Anagla. She has never called me mother. Her father died of some illness whilst furthering his education. Clara was one and a half years old at that time. Children generally pick patterns of speech after six months of birth. After two whole years, Vida got worried. Little Clara was sent to the hospital for tests, but the results were more than her mother could take or pay for from the little funds she makes selling oranges. The doctors requested 500 cities for the test. I had to borrow that amount. The test was done, but I honestly cannot pay for what it takes to make my daughter better. I was told they need to put a machine in her ears to make her better, but I cannot pay. It's really a big challenge for me. Doctors at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital have diagnosed the girl with severe hearing loss in both right and left ears. She will need hearing aids in both ears to support her in communication. With no one to turn to, little Clara has been forced to her fate. No school, few friends save for her neighbors, and no money for her possible hearing comfort. But Ajo Anagbala, aunt to the girl, still believes in the assurance from the doctors Clara's hearing can be saved. <laughs> I asked Maxwell Amwening, a family friend, on why he reached out to join news with Clara's story. I know I know Ghanaians can do something for little Clara because I believe most Ghanaians give because they want to give and help and impact the life of people. This is what I want to ask Ghanaians to do for little Clara. I want them to impart in their life. She will grow up and become a better, a better woman. You understand? So when she gets to know that someone somewhere helped her to speak, to be able to hear something, that means she's also going to help someone without even thinking twice. So. Everybody should uh, try and do something. The little that you can give will make a lot, a lot, uh, a lot more in the life. A desperate mother does not have much to say. I really need help. I'm pleading with Ghanaians to help me. We all have no idea who this girl will turn out to be. Please, I need funds to take care of my daughter.